Welcome to House Marts. I'm Lou Manfredini. It's so nice to have you with us. We have a lot coming up on today's show. A terrific dining room makeover. Wait till you see it. We're going to be talking about home theaters and we're going directly into the toilet. I know it was bound to happen sooner or later on House Smarts, but actually we're talking about toilet technology. You'd be amazed at what's out there. There's a lot more available to you than what you can find at the big box store. It really is astounding the variety of toilets on the market today. Size, shape, color, water usage. So I decided to visit Community Home Supply Kitchen and Bath Showroom to see the latest in lavatories. Marla Richardson is one of the owners. Now these behind us are a couple by Toto that mm -hmm. offer some innovative features that maybe people haven't seen before. What's this one right here? This is the Toto Aquia toilet. It is a dual flush toilet where you press one button that will give you 0.9 gallons per minute for liquid waste and then you can press the other for a solid waste that will give you the 1.6. Mm -hmm. Now most times when you flush, you know, it's for liquids and so that reduced water feature will save you money because these cost a little bit more. But yep. you're going to get that money back long term and they do make a terrific toilet. Now, Terrific is probably an understatement for this thing that's right next to it. T talk to me about this toilet. All right, this is the Toto Neo Rest toilet. It is a combination toilet and bidet seat. One of the features is <laughs> it automatically opens its lid when you're when you want to use it, and it has a heated toilet seat, and you can adjust the temperature. It has heated water, and you can also adjust that temperature. You have the spray wand that comes out. For the bidet feature. For the bidet feature, you can set it at different lengths, mm -hmm. and it also has different water features. It will oscillate, and it will also pulsate if you want. And it'll even play music. It will even play music. We have added the optional <laughs> sound experience, right. which you can put your own MP3 music on, press the button, and it's there when you are using the facility. I see. So will it fold my laundry also? I'm sorry, Lou, it will not <laughs> Darn it! Long. All right, so how much is something like this? Something like this runs approximately $5,000. Wow. Right. But if you don't have that kind of budget, there is also the washlet, which acts as a toilet seat combination bidet, and that runs under $1,000. Gotcha. So these are statement pieces, mm -hmm. right? This is yes. like, I got to show you my toilet in my bathroom. Yes. <laughs> and people will, this is the wow effect. How about it? All right, well, let's go look at some other options. All right. Doesn't matter how much you spend on a toilet, they all principally work the same way, with pressure and gravity. Now, residential toilets have a tank up above that holds the water, which allows it to evacuate and or flush into the bowl. Now, the parts that are inside the tank are relatively simple. There's a fill valve. That's the part that's connected to the water coming in. And the flush valve, that's part of the entire assembly that holds the flapper that lifts up and then brings the water from the tank into the bowl. Oh, and the water that stands in the bowl is important as well. That acts as a gate to keep the sewer gas from coming up into your home. It's a relatively simple piece of equipment that's essential in our daily lives. Now, Marla, the toilets we just talked about, you said were kind of the wow factor of a bathroom, come at a pretty high price tag. Um, but you can get some elements of style and really kind of have a focal point from a toilet by not spending as much money, right? Absolutely. Talk to me about these. Well, these two toilets are both from Porsche, and they are one piece. These are a little taller than the older toilets that used to be around, so gravity does help flush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, you're talking about those low boys, the, right. kind of the first advent of the um, one pieces that didn't flush very well. They did not, but they have been improved so much due to all the engineering and all the water-saving features. Every, everything is flushing and, better. And these are, are, are expensive to make because of the molds. I mean, behind you see how the pipe and everything goes on, the drain coming out of the bowl. I mean, all this gets molded. O other than the lid, this comes out of one mold. Right. These molds, you know, tend to cost several hundred thousand dollars to make each wow. mold. That's why you're paying a higher price for them. Sure. Anywhere from 350 up. Right, depending on yes. what you choose. Yeah. Now, wall mount, that's another very popular trend, especially for smaller bathrooms, and that you're seeing become more and more popular, aren't you? Yeah, they are becoming much more popular now. They have a beautiful look. They're off the floor, right. and the tank is literally in the wall and real easy to keep clean underneath. Mm -hmm. And the, those toilets tend to run around $1,000 again and up. And you just have to work with your plumbing contractor to make sure that 
all the rough plumbing is right. set up if that's what you right. want to do. It's definitely a different install. Yeah, right. thank you so much. Great information. Right. We'll have more information for you coming up about your toilets. But right now, take a look at this green piece.